story. Um, I wrote some notes down that I'm going to read. Uh, one, because I'm nervous. Anyone who knows me knows that um, I'm a shy person. Um, I am a private person. I do not like all of my business out in the world for everyone to see and know. But that is just the situation that we're in right now. Um, out of my control. Uh, but I feel like it's important in order for me to move on from this and to clear everything up uh, that I state the truth. Um, so there was a time in which Tyler um, was one of my best friends. Even now, he's still the father of my three beautiful children. And considering that my intent here is not to bash Tyler. So unfortunately, I think it's time. Um, okay, in regards to our oldest child, Cairo, Tyler was initially only supposed to be helping me and my ex-wife. Um, he was helping us conceive. Um, it was understood that Tyler was not supposed to assume a father role in Kai's life, hence my ex-wife's name being on the birth certificate. Um, mm -hmm. Shortly prior to me giving birth to Cairo, my ex-wife uh, left me um, and uh, moved back to her home state of California. Um, she flew back for Kai's birth, uh, packed the rest of her things, and then moved back to uh, California. Um, my ex-wife and I originally planned and agreed to co-parent as best as we could across the country. Um, but things were very, very rocky for us. Uh, soon after, my ex-wife petitioned the court for uh, full custody of Cairo. Um, it was then that thing um okay in regards to all right um so now as far as the twins unlike cairo the twins were simply unplanned uh if that needs to be spelled out for some people callie and kamari are the results of natural unplanned intercourse with absolutely no complexity surrounding parentage they were conceived <laughs> Before Cairo turned one, and I admit, fully admit, I have not always been the most comfortable with that truth uh, due to the fact that I've lived the majority of my life as a lesbian. Nonetheless, uh, it is exactly that, the truth. Um, Tyler was there with me the entire way, extremely supportive. We went to doctor's appointments together. Uh, we even were living together. Uh, he was there. Yeah. So, uh, as I already implied with that, uh, I will say Tyler and I have never officially been together. We never truly dated. Um, but we um, had these kids and we were raising these kids together. We were co-parenting these children together um and we were and we were legit or I felt like we were best friends um I truly hate that I had to provide an explanation in hopes of defending myself and and my children uh I just could not continue to sit back and allow what was being said about me and the kids um to continue on and just just be lied on and just sit here. Uh, what's further upsetting is that, yeah, I wanna add in fairness, I understand that there is an argument to suggest that despite him wanting and accepting the role as Kai's dad, that maybe he doesn't or shouldn't have any responsibility for Cairo. While I and the courts at this point disagree, uh, I respect this argument. However, there's nothing and absolutely no context that exists that would suggest the same for the twins. Um, with that, uh, Tyler hasn't spoken to or seen the, tw the kids since September 30th of 2023. That was the day before he left for this show. Um, and that's why I'm so beyond hurt and angry with him about all of this. Uh, because it just it just didn't have to be this way 
It shouldn't be this way. I support it, completely supported his decision to go on this show. I want Ugh, not looking good, breath. It's not looking good. Remember this video? Remember this clip here as well, guys? Do the kids know what you look like? I don't think so. Sir. Tyler, 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 Tyler. Well, it looks like Tyler was potentially lying. Um, Listen, hey, look. You, you know what? These situations, the kids are the ones that are losing out. But let me be very frank and very honest. Like I said about what I saw, what I saw in the pods with Tyler and Ashley, I think, you know what? I, I, I can have some grace and understand that, you know what? He was a bit afraid. He was scared. He was ashamed. He was embarrassed. He felt guilty about the situation that he found himself in. Right? So when he met Ashley, he can't believe himself. Right? But it also... So it's, but, and then obviously he doesn't say anything until the very end, right? Now, for me personally, I think this is unfair. It's unfair on Ashley um, because she would have already emotionally connected to him and she may never have chosen him had she known that he had three kids. Okay, let's say two because the first one was a sperm donor. She agrees to that, right? So it's unfortunate that we're seeing ourselves in a situation because now Ashley's got to make a very different choice, which is that she's emotionally tied into this man, which makes the decision even more harder to make. I, I, we all know what decision we should, we all know what decision that we think Ashley should take. We all think she should leave him, right? But I don't know if, uh, well, going by what we saw in the video, he was lying. Because he said the kids didn't know what he looked like. But yet, he's been spending time with her. And in fact, I don't know if it was on this video, I might have, I think the person who recorded it skipped out some bits. She talked about how they, they actually lived to give at one point. I said, wait, hold a minute now. She said that they lived to give at one point. These guys were best friends living together. And I asked myself the question, okay, wait. Then she said they had backdated, um, backdated, uh, uh, um, backdated uh, um, child support. And I said, wait, hold on a minute. Because, she, you know, he put himself on the, on the, on the uh, child support. And I said, wait, hold on a minute now. How do we get backdated child support? as well was he not paying your bills was he not paying the rent what was he not doing because why all of a sudden we want to put that into him i'm guessing that's because of the two twins because i thought it was to do with kyra i was like okay but now it's to do with the two twins which were naturally conceived my, my question is what does naturally conceive mean because you're a lesbian i'm not saying that you can't i'm just saying so y'all are faffing around to have kids is that what you're saying and that he actually did not um, and then he's not looking after the children which means we've got, even, we've got an even deeper story here. First one's a sperm donor. He weren't lying. But the other two, which are his twins, boo. Listen, you got a, and, and that's a very messy story. I can see how he might have wanted to wait till the cameras are off. But my thing is, you've got to help Ashley see, right? You've got to help Ashley see that, man. You've got to help give Ashley the grace to be able to choose while I was in the pods and say, look, can I be honest with you? I've got two kids. It's a very complicated story, right? And I would love to tell you a bit more when we haven't got the cameras. But for now, I've got to let you know, I do have two kids. We didn't see you do that. We didn't hear you talk about kids. You made it as if you didn't have kids. Meanwhile, now you have kids. So you've robbed her of the real opportunity to make an informed decision because you've not given her the, the itinerary or the full scope of the land. And so that is where it's a little bit cheeky, but it's also diabolical, but it's also at the same time a robbery because now she has to make this decision to leave, if not stay, whatever, because of new information that has come into play. And going by the, what my mother said, of course, we don't know what the full truth is because it's his word against her word. But the reality of the situation is if you were on a birth certificate, there's a reason why you were. You know what I'm saying to you? There's a reason why you fought the other, baby, the other, fought the other wife about, about, about the kid's last name. So you wanted the last name, but without all the effort. Can't do, my guy can do so this is a lack of accountability but it's also a big indication that you're not going to be very loyal nor will you be truthful later on in Malaysia Ashley you may think you've changed but this behavior is telling us you haven't done that you haven't changed because you haven't given her the, the freedom and the will um you know to be able to to make a choice and then you haven't seen the kids over a year which again I understand busy Mexico Cabo um locked out into lovers blind so there's gonna be some aspects of that but now you've been back for a little while you haven't seen the kids since but then again, they're sperm donors, so why would you see them again? So that's why it becomes a little bit diabolical, a little bit cheeky, a little bit like, whoa, you're 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 not you're not being fair to Ashley here at all. And lo love starting on this lie is a very difficult, uh, very difficult, if not impossible, 
to kind of uh, exist in that plane because it always comes up. The lie always comes up. The lie always proceedeth before you. Eventually, it catches up to you. So, you know, I don't know why he would lie on national television. I guess maybe he didn't want to expose himself and feel embarrassed. Either way, it doesn't make a difference because now the damage has been done. And so now Ashley has to pick up those pieces because I've seen Ashley post him. She has to pick up those pieces because she didn't know that, I'm guessing. Well, we don't know 100%. But she didn't know that it seems like from the show that he was out there with a bay mother who was lesbian, who he was friends with, who he was staying with at one point. So these guys had a little bit of an arrangement. She lost her wife and he lost his way. Right? Let me not talk too much about it. I want to let you know what your, what your thoughts are, guys. Click down below. Let me know your thoughts down below. It's political. Can't lie to you. Much love, much appreciation. We'll see you again soon. Mm, mm, mm.